athletic. He is. He is very athletic. He shows the ability to, to um to really uh stand in the pocket and, and run if he needs to. He has. He does have a cannon for an arm. So a very athletic guy. Going to be false start on the Mendenhall false Tigers. They drew the Tiger offense uh, out of whack, and so um, you know, uh, so very good for him and. Uh, you know, basketball season is right around the corner, Kinsley. Looking forward to, to being the voices of Charger basketball for Southeastern Baptist College. Yes, um, I am too, man. So it's going to be a, a really exciting time for them as they revamp their their uh, basketball program. It's been quite some years since they've actually had one, but they've decided to, to revamp it and bring it back and um, see what type of opportunities it could bring. So the Minnehaha Tigers line back up, same formation. Quarterback's going to keep it himself. It's off to a foot race to the 20, the 15, 10, and in for the touchdown. So, again, the uh, quarterback keeper is going to take it 40 yards for a touchdown. Well, again, like we were saying, that that's a really um, quick and athletic quarterback. And when you combine that against, you know, a Tiger team that, on defense that, you know, hasn't really produced all year, it means trouble. You're exactly right. And they're going to go for it. It's going to hand it off to the running back right at the middle. But it's going to be met by a host of Tigers right at the goal line. Worth on the carry. Two point conversion so the, no they don't get the two-point two conversion this time. So it's 520 left to go in the first half being brought to you by Laurel Home Center. Mendenhall leads NEJ 22-7. to So thank you all for listening out there wherever you may be from Powers to wherever and thank you all for listening. Wow, how about that? Uh, late in the first half over in Soso, the the mules are beating the engines. <laughs> the, en- the engines. That's... <laughs> Okay, mules versus the engines, John. <laughs> okay. Uh, engines? Engines. Huh? Never heard it put that way before, but I mean, okay. Uh... You should watch some old westerns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the men the Hall Tigers, they kick it off to the Northeast Jones Tigers, and Jay Jones is a going to return the ball, waiting for the convoy to set up. He's going to try to find the blossom blockers, but if then he finds some, he has the wall. He's going to bring it out to about the 40-yard line. So pretty nice return for them. A good athletic uh, return for Jay Jones. You know, he weaves and bobs his way along and, and follows his blocking very well tonight, and, and it gets a good carry all the way down to, to the NEJ 41. So a good carry for the young man on senior night. Yeah, exactly. So it was a Northeast Jones Tigers get the play in. I'm going to line up with three receivers. Two at the bottom, one at the top. Going to have Suzela Morris and Tony Barnes in the game. And Mace is going to hand it off to Morris. Morris is going to pick up about five yards on the carry. So, a good run to start the series off. You know, Ken, I'm tempted to take my sweater off. You know, it's not very cold out here. As I, it's not. You know, as the weather produ- predictions were saying, but then again, it's WDAM. So, I mean, uh, you know, you, you kind of got to take it with a grain of salt. But, hey, a good, good run for Morris up the middle. And, uh, you know. <laughs> Let's see what the NEJ Tigers have in store. Okay, so the Tigers are going to come by with three receivers. Mason Smith is going to swing it out to the flash, find the receiver. Going to break the corner and drag it. Offend. That's 5-5 five, five, McGee, but the step is going to reverse field, show some toughness. Wow, you know, he kind of reminded me of Michael Thomas for the New Orleans Saints on that play, the way he just kind of bounced through the receiver on through the defenders on that one right there. Yeah, 5-5 five, five does a good job. Uh, you know, he eludes those uh, defenders, and it looks like it's going to be good enough for a Tiger first down but uh, you know again like you said it maybe he should have been playing receiver all season I mean hey I mean when you have you know multi-talented you know quarterback slash receivers I mean hey why not why not 
This time he's going to keep the same formation three receivers. Except two at the top, one at the bottom. Major Smith's going to drop back. Wow, take a vicious hit from a defender. The ball is going to come loose, but they're going to say that Mesa Smith was down. But, wow, I'm not sure what happened on that play, but that linebacker blitzed brutally, and Mesa Smith took a vicious hit. You know, I don't know. It, it, it sounded like, I don't know if it was a clean hit or not, but, you know, it looks like that, that play should have been targeting on there. I mean, didn't it for you? From I mean, this? Well, just to be honest, I mean, from what I saw from my vantage point, the top of the linebacker's head clearly hit the face mask of Mason Smith. But they're going to uh, keep the same formation as the snap drops back. They're going to fire deep right, finds a receiver, but it's going to take a vicious hit by the safety. It's going to knock the ball loose. Receiver uh, upset he didn't reel that ball in. It was beautiful pass by Mason Smith and and, and it was uh, Jamarcus Sampson who had the opportunity at that pass, but just couldn't hold on to it. Well, you know, that would have been uh, a good pickup on the play. Uh, the, the pass was there, you know, but you got to make those catches. You do. You have to, you have to make those tough catches. So they're going to keep the same formation. Smith takes the snap, he drops back, looking deep, looking deep over the middle. And I'm not sure what happened, but Jalen Hudson was clearly the man for the ball, but he just stopped running. But he he could have caught the ball had he kept running, so I'm not sure, you know, what happened on that play. You know, Miles and, and Fifa can't play every, every every position on the field. You're right. You know, if you're that, in the game, you're going to have to step up and make a play. That's the difference between... 0-8 oh and 7-1 and and are 8 no. You're exactly right. I mean, you have, you have to make plays like that. You have to be aware of um, if the ball's coming to you. So that's going to bring up a um, fourth down, so Patrick Lillard's going to punt it away. A pretty nice deep punt. It's going to take a, a deep roll, so it's going to stop rolling about the nine-yard line. So nice punt by Patrick Little. Yeah, it was about probably a um, 49-yard punt. Uh, rolls all the way Here's down to the to the Mendenhall 9-yard uh, line. Yard line. There's a flag on the play, though. Yeah, and Coach Braddock is, I mean, he is giving his players an earful right now on that play. I'm he's clearly not pleased about what happened. So I'm not sure what the call is there, but... Uh, I couldn't tell by the signal. Maybe some kind of a illegal block or formation. It looked like that's going to back Mendenhall up even further to the five yard line. To the five yard line. So first and ten from the five with 2:48 left in the first half. Nej trails 22 to seven. Now with 2:48 left in the second quarter. Mendenhall Tigers with t- t- 22. And Northeast Jones Tigers with 7. And the Mendenhall Men- Tigers line up two receivers. Quarterback drops back. He's rolling out to his right trying to find a man. He guns it over the middle, finds a receiver. Almost goes out of bounds, but he's going to try to keep it inbound, but he's going to be knocked down by Jay Jones. Have to pick up a first down. There again, the receiver, after he catches it, falls down. The referees let him get up to try to run it again, and they don't call the receiver down at the point of impact with the ground. Again, piss poor officiating. Didn't you see that? I clearly saw that. If you and I can see it here in the stands, why can't they? Uh, that's a good question. They're going to keep the same formation. Put back with the snap. Sneaks it out to the running back. Going to take it up the gut. Pick up of about four yards. Drumming on the carry. You know, uh, again, the uh, Mendenhall running the, the football. The play. Brings Gain of five. Second and five, uh, second and five from the uh, Mendenhall. 20, 23 yard line. 
Mendenhall comes out in the same formation, shotgun formation. Defensive lineman doing a switch sides here. Whatever that takes the snap. Josh Beck has plenty of time to throw. He flushes the pocket to the right, finds the open receiver, catches it. And it's Taekwon Jasper and 5 5 McGee on pursuit. The receiver going to run, uh, run out of bounds about the 38 yard line. Again, uh, Mendenhall has, you know, one of the better offensive lines I've seen this season. Uh, they're big and they're physical up front, and they're really controlling that Tiger defense of line and uh, giving Allen all sorts of time in the world. Yeah, he literally has all day to really sit up in the pocket and get comfortable. No, same formation. The back takes the snap, hands off to the running back, going to break it out to the left. He's going to be met by... The host of Tigers. That was Joe I. Jones on the tackle. Loss of three on the play. Timeout minimal. So Joe I. Jones, um, if you didn't know, he's been pretty much out um, for a majority of the season uh, due to a, a medical condition. So um, he makes a... He gets in the game on senior night, so great job by Joe I. Jones for making that tackle for the Tigers, making his presence known and felt on the on the field tonight for the Northeast Jones Tigers. He was very instrumental on defense for the for the Tigers last year. I know he's been really missed this year by the Tigers, but you know it's um it's a good thing he gets to play tonight. He's, um, that's P.T. Jones' uh, son. Also, Indeed. Uh, right. Wearing that number 22. So. Exactly. You know, that's uh, he comes from a, those Joneses have a really good bloodline when it comes yeah, to the Yeah, man, they're from out there, Mount yeah. Olive, Sandersville community. You know, uh, they, them Joneses got a good bloodline, uh, quality athletes, very athletic. Very athletic, yeah, good football. And basketballers, too. Running our concession stand tonight. So Mendenhall Tigers gets to play in. They line up. All right. The same formation. Two receivers. One at the top, one at the bottom. Two running backs beside the quarterback. Wingman. Quarterback hands it off to the running back. He's going to take it out left and knock out the sideline by Antonio Hayes. Yeah, the the Mendenhall fans are are crying because they didn't get a late hit out of bounds. Well, it's the same thing in the first quarter. NEJ didn't get get the same call, and really the momentum uh, of the defender carried him out of bounds. Which in any ballpark in in the country, that's going to be you know fair game. Yeah, exactly, and I mean considering the score, I mean it looks like they don't really have much to whine about. But that's just the way I feel about it. But anyway, the Benny Hall Tigers line back up, same formation. But if I take the snap, he looks right, finds a receiver. Receiver gets the ball. He's going to juke another defender, but he's going to get knocked out of bounds by 5-5 five, five McGee at about the, the 38-yard line. Tackle by number 13, five, five McGee. I wonder if that would be any of Reggie Collier's uh, kinfolk, the famous the Southern Miss defensive player. Line. Uh, that's a very good question. I'm not really sure about that, but you know, same type of uh, playing style there. It's fourth down, and it looks like Mendenhall is going to go for it, Kinsley. Hey, why not? Why not? I mean, going for it all night, I mean, why stop now? Same formation. Quarterback checking out defense. Linebackers are looking to blitz. Quarterback's going to hand off to his running back. Takes it up the middle. He's going to pick up a little bit more than a first down. Simmons on the carry for Mendenhall. So Mendenhall picks up the first down right across the 50-yard line with 26 seconds left to go in the first half here in the Laurel Home Center second quarter. Going to be a timeout. Mendenhall. Timeout, Mendenhall. So, you know, 
22 to 7.